We are going to click the green flag to start. Now we are going to press A on our keyboard to learn about today's lesson. Today's lesson is on narrative writing. Our standard is Common Core English Language Arts Literacy for second grade. It says you will write narratives that retell a detailed event in order, including actions, thoughts, and feelings. You will also use words that put the story in order. Our objective is that after watching this lesson, you will be able to identify and explain the parts of narrative writing and how to write your own. Now we are going to press B on our keyboard to learn what narrative writing is. Narrative writing is writing with a beginning, middle, and end. It can come from facts or from your imagination and has a setting and characters. Narrative writing tells about an experience or event in order and uses words like first, then, and after. It also includes lots of details to tell the reader how you felt, what you did, and what you saw. The purpose of narrative writing is to entertain your reader. You want to have a strong beginning that draws your reader in. You can start a narrative writing with a question about your story's main idea. By describing the scene, event, or main character that you are writing about. You can start with a conversation from characters that are in your event, or you can start with a flashback. For example, saying, I remember it like it was yesterday. The key is that you want to interest your reader and get them thinking about what you are about to say. Now we are going to read two examples of a narrative and click the cat to see which narrative is better. The first one says, my arm broke. It hurt a lot. My friends took me home. My parents took me to the hospital. The doctor put my arm in a cast. The second one says, my not so great day started off with a broken arm. I fell off a hill and it hurt so bad. After my friends took me home, my parents drove me to the nearest hospital. I was scared, but then I got a bright blue cast and could finally go home. Now we're going to click on the cat and see which narrative is better. The cat moved towards the red narrative. This tells us that that one is better. It gives more detail about how he was feeling and used words like after and finally to put the event in order. Now that we have practiced looking at what a narrative should and should not look like, we are going to press C on our keyboard to read a narrative by the cat. Have you ever had the best day ever? First, I woke up and had a delicious donut with sprinkles for breakfast. This is great, I thought. Then I drove to the beach, I saw some fish, and I played in the warm sun all day. After I got home, I fell asleep in my big, soft bed. I was so happy. It was the best day ever.
Now that we have read a descriptive narrative example, we are going to press D to learn more. My narrative started with a question. Have you ever had the best day ever? It used words like first, then, and after to put my narrative in order. It also used lots of detail about what I ate, what I did, and what I saw. Today you learned that narrative writing is a story of events that are facts or imaginary. You learn that narrative writing has a beginning, middle, and end. And it includes thoughts, feelings, and details in order of how they happened. Then you watched a short example of narrative writing. Now try to write your own narrative writing. And remember, have fun!